today's video, we're going to continue our Valcam series looking at the best Valcams on Canal. Now, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let us know down in the comment section what the next map in the series you'd like to see. And without me talking anymore, let's dive in and get started. What is happening, guys? It's Alan here from the Dangleberries once again with Elevate to take a look at the best Valcams on Canal. The first of which is located on the top floor inside the control room. Now, I have a couple of them to show you in here, just a couple of variations to work with. My favorite one is putting the Valcam right in the middle of the radar on the screen, and this makes it so difficult to see the cam. Now, I know when you're on it, there will be the blue light, but the screen actually blocks out a little bit of that light, so it's really difficult to see. Now, people coming from Skybridge will more than likely see it, but for any Anyone coming in that main wall or coming in to the green bomb site, you will have really good intel for your teammates. You'll be able to see here on the cam, you can watch all the way down to printer stairs, all the way across to that main wall, and of course, through into B bomb site. Now the variation to this is just a little bit to the right of that up into behind the vent you can place it right up in that dark little corner now this is great for the long haul all the way down to sky ridge and printer stairs because it's a lot harder for them to see this cam but there's less visibility for that main wall and that a bomb site now the third cam takes us over towards the printer stairs just on the halfway point of the stairs there's a gap in between the pipes and the vent you can place your cam in between them and make sure it's tucked in up against the wall and you'll be able to see anyone coming up the stairs or anyone on that top area in the printer area. You can even see a small bit of the sky bridge through the pipes. Now a variation to this cam is the next one. It's just off of that stairs coming onto the sky bridge. There's a gap between the beam and the light that you can place the cam in between. Now, while it's in here, you cannot see this cam. Anyone coming up the stairs, you can't see it. And if you're after moving down Skybridge and you're constantly pinging the attacker, the attacker will not be able to see the cam from either direction. And of course, you can watch a little bit of the printer area, the top of the staircase, and all the way across the Skybridge and to the green door. Now this next one takes us onto the top of red stairs now this is a really strong cam because it's bulletproof as well for anyone coming up the red stairs so on the ceiling where these two little pipes are sticking down from the ceiling you can place the cam in the little gap between them you can see here that you can see the top of red stairs the doorway coming out onto top red and the hallway all the way down towards 90. Like I said, the bonus to this cam is that it's fully bulletproof coming up that red stairs. They can shoot it as much as they like. It will not destroy the cam. Now, the variation to this cam is in 90, right in the corner that next to the vent, you can place the cam in that little gap in the ceiling. Now, the great thing about this cam is anyone coming up green stairs cannot see this cam from the very top. It's completely invisible to them. So you can give a lot of intel to your teammates and they won't understand where the cam is. You can also see down towards the very top of red stairs. So this is another really strong cam to use. Moving on to the next one takes us all the way over to Coast Guard. Now, this is great when the bomb site is down inside the basement. You can place a cam inside this flower pot by jumping up on the table and using the trajectory to really get the cam right onto the middle of the plant. You'll be able to see the whole of Coast Guard, including that little door out into the archives hall, and you can catch them off guard with a C4 from underneath as they're coming in through that door. Now the next cam is just out inside that archives hall, right in between the vent and the pipes. You can stick a cam up against the red pipe on the ceiling. Now this is great for them as they're, a lot of attackers like to rush through the reception area, make their way down that archives hall, and you can ping it and C4 from underneath and catch them off guard. And moving into radio room for the next couple of cams. So this is just a couple of variations to work with, one of which you can jump up on this table and place it right next to this light, making sure it's right up against the light so it's really difficult for the attackers to see if they're coming through Coast Guard into radio. 
And of course, radio is another room that I like to use for vert play to try and pick people off who are in scuba hallway or diving room. So this is a great cam to use to help with C4 picks. It's hard to see as well, which makes it an added bonus. And then the variation to this is just on the other side of the room. There's a, a big pile of pipes running along the ceiling and you can place the cam in between the wall and the pipes on the ceiling. Now, it's incredibly difficult to see this cam. So again, really good intel for anyone who's trying to get the floors open inside and radio. You can tell your teammates that we need to get a C4 out and you can pick them off with ease. On to the next one takes us down into the diving room. Now, over in the corner where the lockers are, you can place a cam in between the two red bags on top of the lockers. Now, this is a great cam because, again, it's very difficult to see for anyone coming down that diving stairs. It gives you a lot of visibility over that whole diving room, and you'll be able to see out through the window as well for any attackers making their way towards lockers window or the window into diving. Now, this is just a variation to that. You can place it in between the vents and the pipe too. It'll give you less of a view of the diving room, but there's less likelihood of the cam getting shot out. The next one takes us into the long hall in the basement. You can place the cam up in between this vent and the wall, which you can show the whole length of the hallway all the way down to trench door. Again, this cam provides a lot of intel for that long haul, and it's very difficult for the attackers to see. Now, this next one takes us into the model room. It is a very simple cam. Over in the corner where the table is, you can place a cam on the side of that little panel, and you can see out underneath the table for anyone coming into that little 90 hall right there, or coming down a small bridge in towards model room. Now this next one takes us into kitchen. It's located right where the fridge is there. You can go down prone and place the cam up against the back corner of the fridge. And this is great for them if they're pushing into that maps room site. It's very difficult for them to see this cam and you can give intel to your teammates that they're trying to push the site through kitchen. Now this final cam is a really simple one over in the museum area. You can stick one over in that corner there, but it doesn't give you a lot of visibility. It only shows you a small section of it. I like to put the cam inside this light. Now you might think, oh, it's super visible. They're going to see it straight away, but it's actually very difficult to see this cam as they're coming into museum. And once you jump on it, the light might be visible to them, but it's still a great way to get some instant intel as they're pushing into museum. So I hope you liked these cams, guys. Make sure to go down into the comment section. Like I said, let us know what the next map you'd like to see in the series. And like I said at the start as well, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Put the notification bell on so you know when we upload our next video. And of course, if you haven't got your hands on any of the Elevate bundles yet, be sure to get your hands on the new recent Maverick bundle available in the Or6 shop. You're going to want to rock that skin. And of course, I'll talk to you in the next one.